Anxiety was rife from the very beginning of the settlements in New England. Salem Village in the 1690s was very much the edge of the settled universe, at least as far as the colonists knew. And outside that settled universe was a dark and forbidding wilderness. They were afraid of death by starvation. They were afraid of death by exposure. They were afraid of death by savages. They begin to see this sort of crumbling providence that they're losing their place in the world and that both the devil and the Indians are allied against them. The Puritans, they're going to lose control of their society of the strict religious tenets that brought them there. So that kind of fear allows for a witch trial to kind of take hold and a hysteria to take over. Many girls at the time were accusing usually older women uh, of, of being witches. You are a gospel witch! Most people who were accused as witches were people who were vulnerable in the community. Tell me why you hurt these women. Women at the time were thought to be intrinsically weaker, morally speaking. It was thought that women had uh, naturally ungovernable and lustful natures, which were easily tempted into sin. This you could trace to the story of Adam and Eve. Salem witch trials really were about the fear of women and really the fear of women's independence. What they were seeing was people acting differently once settlements started to grow, and in particular among girls and women, they started to behave in new and different ways that many men and women found threatening. They were interested in not always living according to Puritan values, and so it's not surprising that there was an attack on the devil within. The chilling part about Salem is that everyone who was involved thought they were doing the right thing. The ministers thought they were doing the right thing. The judges thought they were doing the right thing. The accusing little girls, you could argue, thought that they were doing the right thing. And what happened was that 19 people were put to death by the state because of those good intentions.